Andy Walker, uh, I'm the goalkeeper and skipper at uh, Cray Valley. Um, this is my second season at Cray Valley. Um, I came in uh, October of last season um, and I used to play with the manager Kevin Watson. So you just mentioned obviously that you've kind of only been playing for a couple of years. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about yourself and you know uh, how, what teams you've been playing for and, and what you um, I started out, I was uh, an apprentice at um, Colchester uh, and then a uh, pro for a, a couple of years at Colchester. Was that back on the um, YTS schemes? Kind of? I, I did my YTS, yeah, at Colchester and then uh, signed pro forms. Um, I made my professional debut when I was 17 at the end of my first year as a scholar. Um, I did a few years pro at Colchester um, and then uh, got released from Colchester. Um, I went to a few other um, league clubs, I was at Exeter, uh, Doncaster. Uh, played a few league games of those um, and then dropped into the non-league. Um, the first time I dropped into the non-league I started playing at Wingate and Finchley um, and then the bulk of my career probably within non-league was at Bromley. Um, I had four successful years at Bromley. Uh, from Bromley I went to Maidstone um, which is where I played with the current manager Kevin Watson um, and then from Maidstone I signed for Cray Wanderers um, I did two seasons at Cray Wanderers um, and then from there, um, from Cray Wanderers I went to Thurrock, um, I did a season and a half at Thurrock, um, I was at Harlow for a little bit after that um, and then um, I signed for Thamesmead Town, um, I did a season at Thamesmead Town and then had um, quite a, a serious injury uh, which put me out of the game for a year um, and I thought that probably that was it, I didn't think I was going to be able to play again. Um, but you know, I worked hard through my rehabilitation, and, and luckily enough, um, I managed to get back. Um, I signed for Morden and Trip Tip Tree, who um, they were brilliant. They gave me the opportunity to actually, you know, train, and they put their faith in me to go back and, and play again. Um, and I got myself back fit. But I think I probably um, I didn't give enough credit for the not so much the injury, but having a year out of football. Um, the, the impact that that would have on my form um, so things didn't really work out at, at Morden and Tiptree though um, again they were very good but um, you know my, my form they're a good club and my form wasn't good enough and it was at that point that um, Kevin Watson rung me and said look you know would I like to come down here so you know I, I thought it was good he knew what I was capable of and you know I knew that he'd be very patient with me uh, getting back so I came down here and uh, game by game, my form improved, and uh, yeah, I've I've been here ever since, and uh, you know, I couldn't have dreamed of, of of the way that it would be, um, the way that it would have gone, and uh, you know, the the sort of games I'm playing in today, um, after the injury that I'd had, um, sort of a, a year or two earlier. Yeah. Um, obviously, you've got the, the semi finals coming coming up. Mm -hmm. um, it's been you're doing well in the league. Mm -hmm. You've got the semi final. Do, do you find that the cup is a good distraction or a bad distraction? Um, I, I think it can be. Um, I, I think it can be a bit of both. Um, I've got to say, in the league, the, the league's exactly the same at the minute for us. There's no, there's no let up in the league. We we have to win every single game. So um, our league games are, are, are very pressured. Um, as is these cup games, obviously, because so so I think both sort of uh, represent a nice distraction from the other one, uh, if you like. But I mean. All our games at the minute are just are just non-stop pressure because we do need to get this club promoted because this club um, you know is set up for that. So first of all, we do need to get this club promoted. So we need to win basically every league game that we've got, um, and also um, you know we'd love to continue this journey that we've uh, we started so long ago and that um, you know so far has gone very well for us. So um, yeah, both very important to us. How long do you see yourself playing? I, I try not to. Um, I try not to think about that myself. I think, um, from a personal point of view, and I don't know um, how it works for, for, for other players, but um, I think football will retire me, not the other way around. Um, once, um, once I'm not doing a job anymore, once I'm not performing well enough anymore, once there's question marks over what I'm doing, um, I think then would be the time to, you know, say, look, you've had. You know, you've had a, a good non-league career. You know, you've come back from something when you thought that it was potentially over. Um, but on the flip side of that, all the time I'm doing it, all the time I'm doing a job, all the time I can have input in a team, 
um, you know, certainly I can't make that decision. Like I say, I think football's going to make that for me. Uh, do you have plans outside of uh, football? I mean, if you have, in your mind, do you want to be a coach? Do you want to get into that side, or do you want to, when you finish, that's it, you finish completely? Um, I don't have any aspirations to, 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 to coach or, or be a manager. Um, I think a goalkeeper is quite a specialist um, sort of area, um, and um, yeah, management is not some, really something that appeals to me. Um, neither really as coaching, to be fair. I'm not really. Um, I I I don't mind. I don't mind coaching. I help. Um, I help the goalkeepers out and my my boys' team. My boy plays for an under eight size Kingsdale, um, and I go along now on a Saturday morning when I can, and I coach the the, the, the young keepers there. Uh, since I've been doing that, it has sort of the idea has sort of come around a little bit for me, but. Um, I don't know. Let's 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 see what it you know. If I got the call one day after retirement, someone said, "Will you come in and do the goalkeepers? Will you come and be an assistant manager? Will you come and do this?" Then I think um, you know I'd make my decisions based on the the club, the people, and the time that you know that presents itself. Cool. Well, listen. We wish you the best of luck. Uh, we'll be here today, be here next week. Um, mm -hmm. Any final message for fans? Um, I, I think my only message to the fans would be first of all, thank you. Uh, you know they. They don't turn out in numbers here, um, which is a shame. But I think there's, the area is very competitive for um, you know for fans. But hopefully, um, with what we're we've kind of achieved so far this year, um, you know, and, and the hard work that everyone at this club puts in, hopefully this will put us on the map a little bit, um, and we can continue doing that. And um, you know get a few people here in numbers, but more than anything, I'd say to everyone, not just the fans, the committee, everyone, even the players today, enjoy this ride, you know, because, uh, I mean, certainly just walking in, it's like a different place today, and, and hopefully there'll be uh, plenty more days like that to come. Oh, fantastic. Wish you best of luck. Thank, Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers.